And hey everyone, it's Justin here. Welcome back to Pokemon Gold version. In the last episode, we went on the SS title and we were able to find a lost little girl who was playing with the captain and then claimed she was playing with us, when indeed she was not playing with us at all and we just kind of helped her find her grandpa. So we are going to be continuing on. We are in Vermilion City in Kanto and we are going to be hopefully facing the gym leader here. Let's go see if he's home. So I went ahead and put away my Feraligator, my Tap, in order to get Cutsy out, my level 6 para, uh, not Parasect, Paris, that literally has no other purpose than other, I don't know, just cutting things. It has no other purpose than, other than cutting things. There we go. So there is quite a few trainers in here, and I believe we need to find the switches. Now this is kind of just a guessing game whether you'll find it or not. There's not really any real strategy other than usually I think if you find one, you'll find the other one pretty close to it. Let's see. I gotta search through trash. Freaking trash simulator. Oh gosh. That looks like I'm already fighting people. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? I think I can. So I'm going to and I'm gonna show you right now. Do you guys hear that music? Bruh, that is awesome. Guitarist Vincent. Okay, never mind. I changed my mind about you. I like you. You are awesome. And you only have level 27s? I just beat the Elite Four. Who do you think I am? So I don't know how effective Dragon Breath is gonna be, so we are going to find out real quick. Not very effective. But I did paralyze it, which is interesting because it's an electric Pokemon. How do you paralyze something that uses electric? That makes no sense to me. So we're gonna go ahead and use a Dragon Rage real quick. It seems that I did not heal up since I went through the SS title. Probably something I should have done, but didn't do. So we'll see how that affects the uh, gym battle. Probably not too much though, I would imagine at least. So we have Sandy right here. Sandy who does not have a good ground type move yet. Pretty sad, if you ask me. But I don't know when Sandy's gonna learn anything. Never mind, we have Earthquake. What am I talking about? So we are going to go ahead and use Earthquake. Um, let's just see how much damage this does. And I should probably save them for the gym battle, considering this is an electric gym. And I only get 10 Earthquakes. So we'll get a Red of Voltorb real quick, and then I should probably be using something else in order to defeat these. Uh, a Magnemite. I'm thinking I could just use Mud Slap and defeat this thing rather easily. And it's not going to be able to hit me with anything, really. So I'm not too worried about it. Its electric moves are not going to be effective against Sandy. And look at that, I'm one-shotting it. What am I worrying about? Nothing. So Sandy is almost level 38. That's good. We're going to need him for some future gym battles that we're going to be facing here. So you're going to send in another Magnemite. That's okay. I, I can deal with that gonna be higher level? No, it's not going to be. So I'm just gonna use a mud slap real quick. Um, I'm thinking... Wait, who's gonna be the gym leader for the... Um, s what city is that down there? Why can I never remember its name? The one that Koga used to be in. Remember what that city is. Oh, how shocking. But yeah, the poison gym. I'm wondering who's gonna be running that. I'm going to take you down, prepare to be shocked. <laughs> that is pretty shocking that you think you can beat me. Like, I'll just be straight up with you right there. Juggler Horton. Your first name, Tim? Okay, so we are going to be facing an Electrode. Finally something kind of decent. Let's see. Let's use a Dragon Breath real quick. You're going to use a Sonic Boom. That's going to do a solid 20 damage. Not too bad. Not too good either, though. I'd rather he do less than 20. Just because I'm a little bit hurt already. Now let's see, that didn't do very much. I'm hoping a Dragon Rage will be enough. That shouldn't do- yeah, I'd rather you have done that in the first place. That would do barely anything to me. Okay, let's see. Oh, nope. Oh, and I don't outspeed you either. Yeah, that's gonna do a little bit more. Oh, it got a critical. No wonder it did so much. I'm like, really? It just powered up. It's not gonna do that much. Okay. The so Sephira is taking quite a bit of damage. We got an Electrode. You got a lot of Electrodes, dude. You need to calm down. 
Let's see, we could send out Kong. I'm thinking Kong could use some XP too. Like, I kind of have a little bit of a level difference. I have like 38 to like 40, like three or something like that. Let's check real quick. Let's see, 42, my bad. Let's see, we can use, we can use pretty much anything. Like this is all gonna be pretty effective. Let's use a karate chop. Oh, that's gonna do some damage. Actually, never mind. This is another electrode. I was thinking this is the same one, and he's still powering up. But no, that only did like two damage. That's pretty pathetic. And, and Kong of all people does not have defense. Oh, it's not super effective, or it's not very effective at all. That's weird. <laughs> you got, you got a critical, and then I got a critical. So if you guys didn't know, apparently. The effectiveness of critical hits, like you get more critical hits, the faster you are. And I didn't know that. That That's like a Gen 1, Gen 2 kind of thing. And I don't think it was fixed till like Gen 3. I don't know, I think it might have been intentional, but still, it's pretty crazy if you think about it. Just the fast Pokemon would always get more criticals, and I kind of like that in some ways. I think that's kind of cool. Alright, you do that, that's not gonna be very effective. And look at him, he, he's just like winking at me. He's just like, yeah, I know I'm just gonna be annoying for you. I'm not, I'm not really gonna defeat you. I'm just here to kind of give you XP and, and whatnot. Yeah, see, look at all these criticals, it's crazy. Okay, so we got one more, I believe. Yep, another Electrode. I need to give Kong Earthquake, that'd be cool. I don't think there's another TM for it though, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to teach him it. Nice. Oh, and it missed? I didn't even know Sonic Boom could miss. What? How are you missing me? I don't even get that. Okay. So get rid of Electrode and another critical. Oh my gosh. Just every hit seems to be a critical. And there we go. Wow, I was overpowered. Yes, you were. Or should I say you were underpowered? Nope, nothing but trash. That's what I feel about all these trainers in here. Oh, you guys just got so burned. So burned. An electric gym, but I'm bringing the... Oh, I'm thinking I messed that up. I was gonna say I'm either bringing the heat or I'm bringing the fire. I wasn't sure what I should say. Wait, do I not need to... Do I not need to search these? Can I just go fight them? One second, let me... Let me... Can I just fight this guy? Or do I have to fight all the trainers? Maybe that's what you have to do now. Let's fight you. Hey, little boy. I am not a little boy. I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. Well, it come when it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Whoa, buddy. That's a little gruesome, don't you think? Leader Lieutenant Surge. All right. So he is going to start off with a Raichu, a level 44. You what? That is so strong, oh my gosh. He needs a quick attack, okay, that didn't do too much. So let's see how much damage I can do to this thing. It, this thing looks so bulky. No wonder people don't evolve Pikachu, like look at this thing, it is huge. There's no way it can be that fast. Oh, I one-shot it. I'm pretty surprised by that. And we'll get level 38 real quick. Now, let's see. What is he going to send out next? An Electrode. Okay, I can deal with that. He's got a full team, so... We'll, we'll see how this goes. I, I got enough Earthquakes to probably take down his entire team. Unless he uses Double Team and I miss. Okay, good. I didn't miss. Now, I should be able to one-shot it. Like, Sandy apparently is pretty strong. It just destroyed Raichu, which I thought was going to take at least two. Okay, getting some more XP, very nice. Magneton, okay, hopefully you don't have Levitate. If you do, I'm gonna be a sad, sad trainer. Okay, nope, you don't. All right, get rid of Magneton real quick. Gosh, I'm just sweeping this gym. Feels bad, man, feels bad. Electabuzz, all right. That's something you don't see every day. That's pretty cool. I like that. This is probably his strongest Pokemon right here. You can use Light Screen. Well, apparently I'm not using any special attack moves, so that's not going to help you, man. I'm just sweeping your team with a physical move. 
Oh, not even Electabuzz can survive. Sandy, you just got like two levels during this fight. You are ridiculous. This is great. And he doesn't have a full team. I thought he had a full team of six. He apparently does not. This is his last Pokemon. And I already know I can one-shot this thing, unless it misses right here. Even though Earthquake should hit everything. Like, if you think about that, unless you jump up, you're gonna get hit by Earthquake. You can't go underground. You can't run. It's, it's gonna shake everything. I'm literally causing plates underneath the ground to make the earth rumble. Arg, you are strong. Okay, boy, you get Thunder Badge. Alright, we have received the Thunder Badge. Bring the Thunder. It increases Pokemon's speed. Consider it proof that you have defeated me. You wear it proudly here. I, I don't even know what he just said. Okay, I'll wear it proudly. Alright, one down. Another one to go. Yes, I shall cut it. Or you can just surf across. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even need to bring cut. What am I doing? I could have cheated the system. So anyways, guys, it looks like we just defeated another gym leader, and this is going to be our first in the Kanto region. And so I'm excited about that, and we are going to continue fighting some more trainers and gym leaders in the next episode. I'm not sure what route we're gonna take. I need to kind of figure out what route I can take. I don't know, can I go up and then just kind of work my way, or do I have to follow a set route? I'm not sure. So anyways, guys, I would like to thank you guys for watching. We're gonna continue on in the next episode, and I shall see you guys then.